Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog series. Hello. So we are off to Efteling today. We are, we're off for winter Efteling because so many of you told us that uh, it was such an amazing event at the park. Yeah, so, really cosy. Yeah, we're going to catch that before it ends uh, in February. So we're here at uh, Le Shuttle. We've very kindly been gifted the travel by Le Shuttle. So thank you so much huge, huge thank uh, you. for that. Uh, we've already been inside. We've grabbed ourselves some pan of chocolates and a tea and some drinks. Do you have a coffee? Uh, yeah, so I picked up a latte. The check-in is super easy, so we pulled straight up. Uh, it automatically uh, picks up my registration, uh, pick up our ticket. So we are 05. We've been waiting for the board to say that we can proceed, yeah. which it does. So we're going to get going in a minute. So inside there, they've got lots of places to grab food and drink, and they've got a duty-free shop, toilets, so everything that you need before you're bored. Yeah, and they have these big screens as well. If you've watched the um, channel before, you yeah. will know that we always like to park just in front of the screen, and then <laughs> it's kind of like a drive-in cinema, and then you can yeah. wait for your time, and then it will tell you when to proceed. Oh, my light gone off. So we have now been called, so we're going to drive over. Um, this is where you go through security so you have to have your passports ready and then we'll board the shuttle and we will be heading over to Calais but whilst we were grabbing our croissants we met a lovely family who are heading to Disneyland Paris so if that's you and you're watching uh, you are heading to Disneyland Paris and you are staying at the Newport Bay Hotel it was so lovely to meet you all um, yeah sorry we were a little bit sleepy <laughs> <laughs> we hope we made sense um, but it was so lovely to meet you all and we hope you had an amazing trip so we are all checked in. We've been through security. It was really it was fast that time. Super duper quick, yeah. We <laughs> really went through quick. the uh, security. Well, they dab your steering wheel yeah. and stuff. Um, show your passports and that's it. Then you're through. Um, then you join another queue. So you look out for the lane that has the green light. Yeah. Um, and then you're basically... Um, once you wait into board and then once you board <laughs> the um, barriers open and then you drive on to Le Shuttle so mm -hmm. yeah super easy and yeah huge thank you to Le Shuttle for gifting us this trip over to Efteling once we get over to Calais it's about a three hour drive so Launcherland uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly is the hotel that we're staying at, at Efteling and we're actually staying inside a tree house, tree house. Um, so uh, last time we stayed at Hotel Bozrak at uh, this time Launchland, they've got loads of different uh, hotels, haven't they? Loads Link. of different got... like, accommodation options as well within the hotels. Yeah. And so, different themed uh, yeah. rooms and different ones. Yeah, and there's like lodges, there's tree houses, there's um, actual hotel yeah. rooms. There's a new hotel that's opening inside the park as well. But yeah, yeah. we managed to um, get quite a good deal for January. Mm. Um, I think because a few of the rides aren't open in January. Yeah. Um, but we'll be able to show you in the vlogs like how much is open, how much isn't. Yeah. And um, they still have their winter Efteling event running until February, so yeah. we'll be able to catch that as well. We're um, really excited. Yeah, good deals because it's going to be a very different trip to the last one. So we came in May of last year, so all mm. those vlogs are on the channel. Uh, and then this time it's going to be a bit more I think a bit more laid back yeah. we're there for a little bit longer um, so we're there for three nights whereas in our last trip we were there for two nights mm. so we have an extra day um, so we're just going to take everything really chilled probably spend a lot of time like in the tree house as well just yeah. chilling and yeah I'm really excited for it So we're on board the shuttle now and uh, it's 35 minutes from Folkestone to Calais which I love as a driver because it means that I can have a little relax. Mm -hmm. I normally yeah. download something to watch I've, and then you didn't tell me what you downloaded. I didn't tell Hilda what I downloaded so I've actually downloaded a couple of episodes although we'll only watch a little bit of an I episode. I know, we've to watch the whole episode. Yeah, of Gilmore Girls. Classic. Because I thought with us going over and it's still winter yeah. it's quite a cosy watch another thing is that it's motorway to motorway which makes it easy i don't have to drive through any sort of uh, country roads country roads <laughs> also one of my favorite things is that there's no weight limit or there's no you don't have to worry about packing everything into like a certain amount of bags <laughs> you can literally fill up your car which, is... um, which works well as well for if you want to buy any souvenirs um, on your holiday you always know that you can get yeah. them back 
It's fantastic for us because we tend to overpack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can bring like snacks and you know those things that you, you wouldn't be able to bring if you uh, were flying. Yeah. So I love that part of it. You don't have that worry. I was reading trivia on Internet Movie Database one night about Gilmore Girls and about the fact that like the script that they used to get was like really double big, the length yeah. of a normal TV series because they talk so fast. Yeah. <laughs> Drive on the right. Drive, Drive on, on the, the right. <laughs> Look at that sun shining. Shining through. We have two hours on the sat nav. We haven't um, stopped yet, so we'll probably stop in maybe half an hour. Yeah, 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's been a good journey so far. We've just been listening to our playlist. Yeah. At the moment, we're listening to Carried Me With You, Brandy Carla. It was used at the end of Onward, and it's such a lovely song. Yeah. I've just been singing it, and then I was like, can I play it again? <laughs> I just played it again. But the sun is out now. I do think it's still going to be cold. It was so cold this morning, I forgot to say that uh, when I went to put the key into the boot to open the boot, I couldn't get the key it in. It was frozen. Because it was frozen, so we had to like put the cases in the back seat. Moderate snow and ice warning until midnight. The snow's gone from the forecast though. Right. So it just says cloudy. It got very misty and it started snowing. It started snowing. It looks kind of like rain. Um, but it is, yeah, it is snow. Brilliant sunshine still. <laughs> that was a crazy half an hour of uh, weather. Yeah. But look at this, can you see? There's one of the hotels. That's the main Efteling Hotel, I think, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. We're here! We're here! We had to get some assistance. <laughs> we did. So we thought that you didn't have your digital key until four. Yeah, when, like, I the thought room that's like, yeah, when you check in. Uh, but we already have it. Yeah. So it is on your Efteling app and then you click overnight stay and then you can activate your digital key yeah. and then you get into the car park. So you can park up, head into the park and then check in later. Yeah, so you needed the digital key for to open the barrier. Yeah, but they're the really helpful park. over the, um, like, the, uh, the tannoy. Well, we started moving backwards because I was... Because I thought, oh, I'll need to get you closer to the barrier. They must have and a, must have a uh, camera. And we heard someone <laughs> talking. We were like, where's that coming from? I was like, they came to us. <laughs> coming from the barrier. So, yep, we're all parked up. We might actually take a little walk just to see where our treehouse is situated. Because we know the number. Because we have the number. It's 803. So we're going to head there, see where it is, um, maybe get a picture. So as there's snow on the ground, I think it's time for hot hands. Hot hands, baby. Oh, yeah. The lake is frozen. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. I feel like it's just making it so much more magical. So good. Oh, these gloves. I'm so happy with these gloves. You can still use your phone to take Touch pictures. Green ones. Yeah, they're gloves. better than mine. <laughs> so we're thinking our tree house should be here. I can see some tree houses. So we found it. This is our tree house. How cool is that? We are now going to make our way to Efteling Park. So the way that we can walk, there is a shuttle bus. Oh yeah. We'll have to figure out where that picks people up from actually. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to uh, see what the walk's like. So here's the hotel and then we need to walk through the car park to join the path. Efteling Park. Efteling park. So through the car park. And then, yeah, we're going to walk down there I believe. All that snow over there and then it's falling now. <laughs> these oh i could not recommend them enough <laughs> we need to be sponsored by hot hands, hot hands if you're watching <laughs> we've deployed the brolly <laughs> <laughs> it's a snowstorm <laughs> no it's not a snowstorm but it's pretty heavy <laughs> we're having to hold it forward so the next section we're going to cross over we're leaving Lunchland. Here's the entrance. Very magical. I feel like we've never seen snow before, but I was not expecting this. <laughs> like, this is amazing. So here is the entrance. After leg. And here 
We have the quill that does not stop moving. Apparently it only stopped once. And um, that was when the park was closed during the pandemic. So there you see, it's right in its story. So they do have park maps available if you uh, want to go off a paper map. It's like a winter one as well. Yeah, but uh, we've got everything on the app that we need and also the tickets were on the app and they got scanned. Here on the left, this is where they're actually building the new hotel. So it's the first hotel that's going to be actually inside the park itself. So we're inside of Efteling and we got a photograph yeah. with two of the Ravelang Knights. They're having a, a day off from saving everyone. Uh, so Ravelan is a, uh, a stunt show that happens here at Efteling during the uh, the rest of the year, sort of outside of yeah, winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Yeah, we watched it on our last trip, so you can check that vlog out. And then also Red Riding Hood joined us. So, so we had a little picture with Red Riding Hood and two Ravelan uh, yeah. people. Yeah, the knights. <laughs> so we'll insert that picture. And the snow has eased off of it, which is nice. And then this is the Half lake. Of the lake is frozen. Yeah, so I think they'll probably still do it because the bit where all the jets yeah. are isn't frozen. Isn't frozen. Now I think that's to the... do with the because the jets are there. Oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. Right. Where should we head? What do you want to do first, huh? The world is your oyster. Where should we go? Well last time we walked that way and then we went on Fatima. We Ghana did Fatima first. Ghana was the first thing. So what you think we should do the opposite? Maybe. <laughs> should we go that way? Yeah, let's go that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'd literally just pointed out the slippery sign <laughs> and then I slipped over. And then the Ravelang people ran to your rescue. They did, they did. <laughs> I thank them. I thank the Ravelang Knights. Timing, all oh, careful, not, not Be on the careful, snow. be careful. Uh, it's just the timing of it when you were like, oh, slippy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless them for checking on me though. I appreciate that. So we've got some decorations. I like it because it's sort of like festive, so like for Christmas, but then it can also be left up after because it's not overly Christmas, if you yeah. get what I mean. It's yeah. kind of more wintry, which is probably what they've gone for. So there's this uh, little stall here and it's uh, for the builder pig, who's the third clever pig from the three little pigs. And he's the one that's building the grand hotel. There it is in the centre. It does look epic. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> We're still giggling about it. <laughs> still, and we can laugh because I wasn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, over here we've got the Fabula restaurant, which we wanna, might. Should we get some food now? Do you want to do something I'm first or do you want to go and have some food? I'm a bit peckish. Oh, well, let's go in then, yeah. Taking things a bit slower, laid back. The wait times are very short for everything. So we actually came here on the last day of our May trip. We've got the nature sounds, and nature soundscape. Yeah, we're sat upstairs and then this is it downstairs. So you've got a children's playground at the back there and it's all to do with nature. And it's all tied into the 4D film, Fabula, which is actually made by Aardman, who do like, they've done Chicken Run and Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, it's really good. So after Martin's tumble, <laughs> I was a little bit worried about going up those stairs because they were quite steep, <laughs> but I made it. So we have sweet potato fries and then a Coca-Cola and then we both went for the chicken wrap. Mm -hmm. I got this last time. I was jealous. And it was really good. Like, I don't know if you can see the lighting, but it's got avocado, salad, chicken. I had food envy. Really nice. So it's very relaxing in here with a little soundscape but we thought we would just let you know how much that cost so we got one coke we got one sweet potato fries and then we got two chicken wraps and it came to 18 euros for everything yeah not bad so not bad that that wrap had a bit of a spice it to it it did it did i finished it apart <laughs> from one tiny little piece because it got a little bit spicy but it was nice um, but it was really really nice my nemesis <laughs> the outdoors <laughs> I am keeping an eye on you. <laughs> I feel like we're both walking like this now. Yeah. He, he told me, uh, the Ravelang night, he told me, walk like a penguin. <laughs> it's a little known song. <laughs> and then look at these lights. And they look like Pardus. We ate in the restaurant, so let's go and see the 4D film. It's really cute. It's got it these two, really two main characters. There's um, no speaking as well. Like yeah, through, like, movement. just movement and things that happen on the screen. Love it. 
Its eyes move. It's looking at me. <laughs> Max and Moritz is over there. You can hear the tune. I love that tune. It gets quicker as you go around. <laughs> We're finding all these creatures as we walk towards Fabula. To see Fabula first, we shall cross over the Misty Bridge. And we're through. So this is as you come out of Fabula, and this is the children's play area. It's got like an arctic section. Some monkeys, the rainforest. There's the stars of the show. The section where they're underwater, I think, is my favourite. The colours are just so vibrant. So these are plushies to do with the uh, 4D film. So these are characters that appear. And yes, my favourite, Yoo Hoo How Do. <laughs> I met him on the last trip. He does appear with the Sandman. Who's your favourite? This little guy. <laughs> He's cute. So you can buy a piece of merch, which is a uh, Pardus uh, like wand. You purchase it, it's interactive, and anytime you see these, I think, you can interact with some of the things around Efteling. Maybe the water, like, doesn't... Yeah. On one trip, we'll have to buy one. <laughs> Just <laughs> try it out. <laughs> so we are heading to Symbolica. It's one of my favourite rides. It's a great dark ride. And here we have Bardus, and he's got a scarf on for the winter season. This is where Helna met. Pardus. I'm hoping to again. Yeah, in his winter gear. There's the pagode at the back. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's got a picture here that you can, uh, two of you get a picture, but each of you has to stand inside one of the shoes. Just like that. We haven't booked it, but Helena said to me as we were heading into Fabula, I might have to get at least one pancake. This trip. It has to be done, right? Like you have to go to Palasco Cam 1. <laughs> 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 into different ones. That's a diffuser, yeah. and then you've Room got like spray. a spray. You've got the more sturdy plush, and then that's the softer one. Oh, this is the mug we've got. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the mug we've got. We and then you can get a bag as well, or you can get the plates. Oh, look, the bowl. Oh, a cereal bowl, that. Look. You've always wanted a bowl. 
This would be good for hot cross buns. Oh, <laughs> hot cross bun plate. Yeah. <laughs> puzzle. Puzzle, present for your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Loves doing the puzzles. Get a 3D puzzle of uh, the Symbolica building. Well, this is what you can buy. This is the Pardos sort of wand. I said this last time, but that ride is one of my absolute favourites. It's so pretty, isn't it? So pretty, so magical. Every scene's fantastic. I like the fact that you have three different options as well, so whenever you ride it, it's like something like yeah. new. Yeah. This has been added as well. I imagine this lights up a bit more when it's dark. Very pretty. So we're just walking along to try and get to Droomvlog. We're seeing these giant portraited pictures. Over there, that's the Carousel Theatre, and that's where one of the winter shows is going to be on. One where they sing some songs. Just by Droomvlog, you got some stalls, clothing stall, hot drink stall. Cinnabon things. Oh, Cinnabons Support available. Really good. And then this you can get a photograph inside, although it's been really snowing, so I don't think we need to get it. But I think you go inside, yeah. But you go inside, I think you push a button, and then it starts snowing. <laughs> Step into King Winter Snow Globe and let it snow. This is what Helena's been enamoured by. <laughs> We've got the bucket list challenge to ride Droomblock five times. This is number one. <laughs> Helena's favourite ride. Where is everyone? <laughs> Helena's listened to this soundtrack on repeat many times. I love it. You just want to jump in, don't you? On oh, no. Glow the dark socks. And that's the floating planet. Yeah, so the last time we rode this, somebody left in the comments, oh, it, it's a shame that the floating planets aren't there. And we didn't know what, what they, they meant, meant by yeah. that. But then on that time, we saw them. So we understand. They're, they're impressive. Also, these would be really nice in the treehouse. Oh, look, they say after thing on. <laughs> 12 euros 50. Oh, the same as the Pardo Swand. Yes. <laughs> Filled up my bottle at this uh, set of water fountains. I thought, because it was the winter, that they might not be on, but they are. You just wave, wave yeah. in front of them. And the ducks will serve you. So after filling up our water bottle, we're going to go check out the Volk van Laff. So we're going to go see the ina earliest inhabitants of Efteling. Because we missed these last time. We went on the monorail, but we missed going into some of the buildings and seeing some of the inhabitants. Another one ticked off our bucket list. Yep. Well, another one. I say we haven't completed any yet. We've just made a dent in Drumvlacht. Mm. So I did a Google Translate. It's the people of Laff. Yeah, there's the snails. <laughs> That's the monorail you can go on. Oh, like here, there's stairs. Oh. Can you go in there? We've climbed into one of the houses. What if they find us home here in their house? Might kick us out. We'll run! run. <laughs> That's the house we were just in. 
going to carry on walking around. Yeah, let's go this way. I'm being careful. But I see. <laughs> Into the next one. I'm sorry, this is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, there's a lot of babies. Look at these though. <laughs> the guy in the, the uh, chair. He's just chilling. <laughs> They're doing a good job looking after all these. Got some funny mirrors. Look at how long my hat has gone. <laughs> Fun house. <laughs> really cute to have a little walk around so thank you um, for letting us know in the comments of our last series I enjoyed uh, because you wouldn't the, have known meeting the people of laugh yeah they were very uh, creepy no I must admit no not all of them <laughs> not all of them <laughs> they kept like I'd be looking at them and then they suddenly turn and look at me like yeah it's good I think my favorite one was uh, there was a big one where they were making wine or they were making some yeah sort of drink. yeah it's really cute little, oh, little look around the oh did we miss one what one's this then? Oh, the bakery. baked goods. Oh, this actually, this might be my favourite. <laughs> They're singing a little tune as well. <laughs> this is making me want to visit that bakery. We do need to go there. That's my favourite. <laughs> Martin's a fan of that one. <laughs> now this. It's the weirdest resident of them all! <laughs> so this is where Winter Wide is. We might have a little look, we'll probably spend longer in it tomorrow. Mm. Um, but we just want to have a little look. Like ice... At night, well, a bit later on when it gets dark, it looks beautiful, yeah. so we lit up. I exactly see it all lit up. Yeah. yeah. That might be uh, tomorrow though, because I think we're going to head back to the hotel for about four. We're going to have like a nice night. Yeah. We feel like we've done quite a lot, haven't we? Yeah, we have actually. But yeah, the ice rink's over here. You can see people zooming past. So we got some stalls for food. You've got some games as well. So that one's you got to dunk some basketballs. Then you've got to hook some penguins in this one. And then up here, this is where you get your ice skates from. And somebody told us over the comments that it was two euros 50. And then here's the ice rink that I'll be falling over on some point. <laughs> oh, we've got a miniature Efteling. So you can actually purchase. Can you buy these? All of Efteling, yeah. You can make Efteling in your house. If you had a spare room. <laughs> so we were just taking a photograph of Helder in the sleigh uh, and then Pados just came around the corner. I think we shocked him as well. We were like, Pados! And he was like... <laughs> so we quickly grabbed some photographs yeah. and then some other people have gone over now to try and get some as well. So I've literally ticked that off the bucket list. Yeah, he's in his winter gear. Not even trying. Oh, and fantastic. we both got a photo and now he's taking a few photos of other people. Yeah. I like his little um, star winter outfit. <laughs> So we'll insert those pictures. Helna has just led me into Carnival Festival. I heard the tune and I couldn't resist. Yeah, we saw the end of the puppet show. It hypnotizes you. Perfect weather conditions for us. So we're heading to the bakery. Which we Hopefully another thing ticked off the bucket list. We didn't manage to do this last time. We Pick feel up a like snack. Because it's snowing again, we need a little bake treat. <laughs> So 
we picked up this biscuits and caramel slice and then when we were getting it like paying for it at the checkout she said would you like cream with that so we said yes so we just enjoyed a little treat from the bakery i liked it ticked off the bucket list it was really nice actually it was the crumble biscuit. caramel biscuit and we got it with cream and i'd highly recommend having it with the whipped cream yeah. um, otherwise i think it could be a little bit dry without yeah. that it was 450 but you got a big slice oh yeah like enough to share i don't think i would be able to eat a whole one um, and even sharing like it was still quite a lot wasn't it yeah um so yeah really good really good little treat the donuts looked really good there but yeah we're gonna head back we're gonna head out and we're gonna go get cozy in the tree house unpack and have a little nice evening so this <laughs> is where i fell it's you can see the the floor change from decking to actual um, <laughs> so do not walk on that when it's been slowing. Obviously. Where was it that I actually did it? Um, the last step. Oh, it's the last step. Yeah. Last step down, and then I think you took a step onto the decking. Is and then Is there a Martin? Look, it changes. Is there a Martin print? <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> <laughs> and I sprang up. <laughs> it was as soon as you stepped onto the decking. Yeah. Just boom, <laughs> flat on the ground. And I had the camera in my left hand, Massive so I like, blood. I just. I, I braced myself. It was pretty big fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a stall there. We might pop through the shop and then back to the hotel. I didn't uh, show it, but we found in that shop there was the uh, Dream Flight Drum Vlux uh, scent. Yeah, what's it called? Diffuser. I have a diffuser and then I have the room spray. The room spray was a bit. Well, I think it was just because we it we um it was the tester we sprayed it and it sprayed back enough yeah. it was a bit strong. <laughs> also, with room spray, sometimes it doesn't last as long. So I feel like I'd quite like to get the diffuser. Yeah, it, it does smell really nice. So we've come up to the top here. A O three. Oh hey! Used our digital Morning. key. Oh, it's warm. Nice. That's what we were worried about. So before we get unpacked, we thought we would do a quick treehouse tour yes. um, before we like think where we're gonna put everything. <laughs> it's really cool. So like you saw the entrance, so you come up the steps and then there's like three tree houses. Yeah. Quite spread out though, like they're quite far apart. So here's outside, so you've got one across there, you've got one there, and then outside you have a little um, table and chairs. You've got a little bell, and then this is the front door a little curtain so you can close that at night and then you come in this is a little overview so here you've got some artwork we wondered what these were <gasps> on the um on the yes. wall but they're everywhere and i think they're sort of meant to look like rustic treehouse vibes because at first i thought um it was like all big stains <laughs> but it's not it's like it's if you look close wood. it's like rustic wood yeah um they have, what is that? That's a Yoo-hoo, how do. Yoo-hoo, how do. And the Sandman. Martin's favourite. Oh, yeah. And then you have two single beds, but they make a double. Um, so we've each got our individual towels oh, and little, duvet. Little stools as our bedside Little table. stools at the side. Uh, you have a little reading light as well. That's really cosy. You have another lovely large window, a view, outside some of the other lodges all looking very pretty in the snow uh, you've got a ledge here as well and then here you have looks like a high chair and then something for your bags you have some coat hooks here then inside here is the bathroom lovely big bathroom martin hasn't seen this yet so you've got a full length mirror here this is the bathroom so much bigger than i thought so you have a lovely walk-in shower and you have the Efteling body wash and shampoo. These smell so nice. So yeah, this is really, really big. I thought it was going to be quite a small bathroom. Hair dryer here, sink, another lovely large mirror. Got my Efteling jumper on. I love these lights. Look at these. Yeah, we wanted to, uh, sort of rattan yeah. lights like this i really love it so here you have some more hooks a couple of coat hangers and then you have kessel and some bits and bobs this is a coffee 
A coffee, coffee machine. machine. Um, this is your little welcome pack, which I'll open in a minute. So that's like a little tea coffee station. You have quite a large TV here. You've got another window, so it's really lovely. Lots of light being let in. And then you have a table. You have two chairs on this side and then a bench on the other side. And then this is another room. So you have a curtain here to divide the room. And then inside this room, you have two single beds. You've got another large window, big light, and then yeah, two single beds. We'll probably use this as a place to put all of our clothes. That's the only thing I'd I say. Yeah, there's, there's not a wardrobe. No, there's not a wardrobe that I can see. So you'd probably have to, yeah, either keep your clothes inside your luggage, mm. or if you're like us and you're not using this room then you can sort of have this as a little walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> um, but if you are using this room, then yeah, you have to get a bit inventive. Um, but if you're just staying here for a night, a night or two, should be fine. I really love it. It's really cosy. Yeah, it's really nice. Also, quickly, I forgot to um, say it has a cot as well here in the corner. We also realised we missed this just below the tea and coffee making facilities. There is a fridge. So about an hour and a half has passed, we're all unpacked. Martin did a quick little um, at home workout. I've just been chilling, uploading to my Instagram. I also walked over to reception. Oh, you're gonna out us. <laughs> Basically, so this door, you have to really pull it for it to lock. Um, because if you don't like slam it shut, basically, it doesn't lock and we were having real issues with getting it to lock. So Martin went over to reception. But when he went over to reception, he must have really pulled it because when the um, mechanic came out, it was locked. And then I was like, oh no, I just look really silly now. Yeah, because it kept um, opening. And we were like, what? Well, yeah. Open. So if you do stay in the tree house, you just got to give it a proper good pull. pull when you're inside to lock it. And then you obviously don't need a key to get out um, just to get in. But there was a knock at the door because look what's arrived. Takeaway. So you can order on the Efteling app, you can order takeaway. So I ordered a pizza. Martin ordered shepherd's pie. It gets delivered to your door. Oh, there. I was and you can, oh yeah, my sides are here. So sorry, the memory card just ran out, but. Oh, look at that. I have my margarita pizza. We brought some juice from home. Yeah. This is some of our snacks. <laughs> and Martin has a shepherd's pie, although they didn't come with any cutlery, so he's going to use a little... I'm going to improvise. you got to adapt. <laughs> Some coleslaw. Yeah. And we're just thinking, we, we brought a laptop. Watch. What should we watch? I kind of wanted something magical. <laughs> and in my head, I wanted Stardust. <laughs> but I can't seem to find it on any oh. platform. So we think we've settled on Into the Woods because, you know, <laughs> we're in a tree house in the woods. <laughs> Martin hasn't actually seen this before and I saw Not it always, ages no. ago. I think I saw it at the cinema. Um, it's a musicale. That pizza was really, really good. And you said your one was really good as well. Really like that shepherd's pie. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's quite filling. So we're gonna, I might make myself a little, a little cup of tea. I'm gonna have another juice. I'm gonna carry on watching Into the Woods, which I just realized I didn't even put two and two together. Cause I was like, oh, Into the Woods, we're in a tree house. It's all about fairy tales. <laughs> it's like the perfect film to watch at Efteling. Um, so yeah, top tip, if you're looking for a film to watch whilst you're at Efteling, Into the Woods. <laughs> so we're gonna enjoy that and yeah, just chill with a nice cup of tea. And on that note, we thought we would end the vlog here, our first Efteling vlog. Yeah. What a day! It's been so lovely being back and yeah, we can't believe how lucky we were with the atmosphere that's created with the snow. The snow was just incredible. I was looking back at photos and I just can't believe it. I was not <laughs> expecting that at all. Um, but yeah, join us for the next vlog. We'll be back to the parks, going yeah. on more rides and everything. So yeah, we will see you in the next one. If you've liked this one, hit the like button and also subscribe. Bye! Toodle Pipski! I'll be your light.